Well, every bale partly consists of sugar, protein, water, and in the beginning you have some oxygen in the bale. After you've baled and wrapped a bale, the aerobic bacteria get to work. These are bacteria that need oxygen. These aerobic bacteria convert the sugars with oxygen into CO2, carbon dioxide and water. This means loss of energy, reach sugars and dry matter. This process continues until the oxygen is consumed. Then the anaerobic bacteria take over that don't need oxygen. They also use sugars but convert them into lactic acid and CO2. This process lowers the pH and increases the CO2 concentration. Ultimately, the preservation stops depending on the dry matter content. It stops either on the basis of the pH level, in case of a dry matter lower than 50%, so relatively wet bales, or it stops based on the concentration of CO2, in the case of a dry matter higher than 50%, so relatively dry bales. So once the preservation process is stopped, you have a very stable bale and it can be stored for months and months.